last crop. Okay. Here we have only a settlement problem. We are not bringing loads to complex. Span 7 EI, span BC is 3 EI, span CD is 1.1 EI. It doesn't matter what span DE has because span DE will remain straight. No bending mode. Okay, it's an overhang. It will just rotate rigidly with whatever slope you have at theta D. Okay. So you can even remove that D portion, it does not come into picture. Two unknowns, theta B, theta C. Fixed and moments, nothing to write. Okay. Chord rotation, you have to write carefully. Okay. So find by 4.5 meters. So you will write it as 0 0.005 divided by 4.5. Uh, B C also undergoes a clockwise chord rotation because Delta C is more than delta B. You will write it as 10 mm minus 5 mm is still 5 mm divided by the span. 0 0.005 divided by 3. Point. So, uh, what you can do is you can assume hinges here to get these straight lines. And as far as this is concerned, it is an anti clockwise chord rotation because this support D is not settled, only C is settled. So, it is 10 mm divided by span of 3.75 meter. And write down this straight away. Your chord rotations have no units because it is meters divided by meter. It is it's actually radian. So, phi AB is 1 by 100, 900 positive, phi BC is plus 1 by 750, phi CD is minus 1 by 375. Okay. Some people use this Greek notation phi as the Americans prefer to say phi. Okay, but I think some of our Indians are used to saying phi, phi. Right. So, this is very important to write down carefully. Fixed end moments are not there, but you can now write your slope deflection equations for the three elements. MBA is MF naught BA plus 3 I by L theta B minus phi. Similarly for MBC, MCB. I'm sure you can write these down. Okay. Remember to write the correct value of phi. MAB, be careful. NDA is hinge, so you're writing 3 I by L. BC, it is not hinge, so you are writing 6 EI by L into 5. You need one more equation for CD, which you can easily write 3 EI by L. We have summarized, okay, we have summarized very nicely. Uh, what you see in the first column, these are not fixed in moments. Well, in a way, you can say they are equal in fixed in moments. They are the moments that you are getting due to the known support settlement. Okay. But you have additional moments that you get because of rotation theta b and theta c. What is what do you do next? As you did earlier, you have to now write down the equilibrium equation corresponding to theta b, corresponding to theta c. Write them down. And you get two simultaneous equations, you solve them to get by substituting these values. Now you are in a position to draw these three bodies. Okay, plus 52.55 minus 52.55 minus 164.58 plus 164.5. Everything is matching very well because those were the equilibrium conditions you import. Then you draw the shear forces. Very easy. No net moment divided by span with the direction correctly done. The overhang D does not have any stresses on it. You are in a position to draw the bending moment diagram, shear force diagram, and the deflective shape matching your deflective shape. D doesn't have any bending. Moment. 
we have come to the end. Hmm? Uh, as usual, we end with a homework problem. I am giving you a simple problem. Two span continuous beam with some loading and some support setting. 